All right, is your closet just full of clothes that you're not even wearing anymore? Well, you could be a fashion hoarder. So, what should you really keep? And when do you know that, you know what, I'm never going to wear this. It is time to get rid of it. Well, Jay with Jay's Everyday Fashion joining us this morning to show us some items in her closet. She was so brave and sweet <laughs> to bring us things you actually picked out of your own closet to sort of walk us through this, right? Exactly. Some things I'm going to get rid of and then a few things I'm going to keep. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, number one on your list is, is check the condition of the item. Is yes. that right? So an okay. automatic get it out of your closet is if it's ripped, if it's torn, if it's damaged beyond repair, if the shoes are completely worn out, we should get rid of those. Right. Things. Like if you're thinking, I'm really going to take these and get these fixed in years. It's been and two it years happens, and you never exactly. do it. Okay. Then just get rid of it okay. at that point. So okay. the next one is fit. So okay. determine if something fits. So these two examples, okay, white colored shirt and a black shirt dress. These are normally things I would tell people to hold on to. They're in good condition, but right. on me, they're just a tiny bit too snug. I've got the gapping between the buttons. Okay. So these, they've got to go. Time to You're go. You're just never going to wear them if they don't fit correctly. Okay. I was going to ask you because I'm like, well, these seem like classic items, but they right. They are, but fit in that important. case, you got to think, does this actually fit me? And okay. try it on if you haven't tried it on in a while. So okay. you might be surprised. No, that's, that's good thinking. Fits. All right. I love your next one on the list because it's sentimental. We all have something in our yes. closet. <laughs> like I have my old, I still have my old sorority sweatshirts. Why? I've never, I haven't yes. worn them since college. Exactly. So this is, this is brave of me. Definitely. Okay. This, is, this is hard to admit. <laughs> I had these from high school in a spare Oh my closet. gosh, how funny. So I am getting rid of these though, oh, I but promise. But this dress is cute. It's, it would be good for someone else, so I need to let it go. I'm going to donate these to charity. So, but people hold on to stuff for sentimental reasons all the time, and my advice is to take a picture of it. So what you really want is the memory of the item. Snap a photo, get rid of the idea. item. And if you've got things like the sorority sweatshirts or t-shirts or sports t-shirts, you can turn those into a memory quilt. Oh. So yeah, again, we don't want to hold on to the item. We want that. the memory is what we're really going for. So okay. get rid of the item. Good, because right now those sweatshirts are really dusty exactly. and they don't, they don't look don't good. Like okay, and then what do you have here next? Sir? We're going to go through some other things. Just ask yourself, am I really going to wear this? What's my personal preference? Okay. So these last two, you know, I, they're great. They actually fit me. They're in good condition. But at some point, you just got to let it go. You know, I'm not probably going to wear these. Let's let someone else wear them. And I'll take that pink on. dress. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one with Amy. So just kind of ask yourself, you know, am I really going to wear this again? Okay. And get right. rid of some of the things that you don't and wear. And we know. Much. We know. We just, we have we it in the back know. of our mind. Like, oh, I might, I might, but we yeah, never do. Yeah, this one I've had for years. I've worn it so many times, I think I'm just ready to move on. So. Well, the other thing, too, I find, too, with the invention of social media, now when we see ourselves over and over in these pictures on Facebook or what have you, yeah. we're like, I can't wear that again. I've been photographed, <laughs> right? Totally. It's I know different. what you mean. It's yeah. different. It's different. Okay. So and then you have a few more things here on the end. I have a few at the end. I've had these items for five to eight years, but I'm still going to keep them. Okay. So I actually don't really subscribe to the rule if you haven't worn it in six months, don't keep it. If you still love it and it might come back in style, it's good for the environment. It's right. good for your pocketbook. If you can hold on to something, you have the space. I'm actually a big advocate for holding on to things. So I've had this for about five years. I'm totally going to wear it for the holidays again That's this beautiful. year. beautiful. It's still in good condition and it still fits. So might as well hold on to it. Okay. This plaid blazer I've had for like eight years. It went out of style so bad for a while, but this year plaid blazers are everywhere and there's That's right. About it. I just really loved it, even though it wasn't really in style. Right. So I kept it and I'm so glad I did. I'll be wearing that again this it's year. It's cute, especially with a pair of jeans. How yeah. adorable would that be, right? I'll probably wear it again. And okay. this dress I've had for about five years, and again, I'm planning on wearing it this winter. I have an occasion for it. So if you really love something, it still fits, it's in good condition. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Sometimes things come back in style. It just depends. Absolutely. So. We talked a little bit uh, quickly in the commercial break, yes. Jay, about what do you do with stuff when you don't want it anymore? You mentioned yes. donating to charity, but you've got something fun coming up I on do. your on your blog, right? On, or on your Facebook page. page okay. I'm going to be doing a closet sale. hundred percent of the proceeds go into charity and I'm selling over a hundred of my best items. I won't be selling the high school items. Oh, the other ones. Darn. <laughs> I, I really like this one. It's cute. Exactly. It's cute. So. Okay, so tell everyone how to find your Facebook page. It's Facebook.com slash JS Everyday Fashion. So You're the really best. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, Jay. That was good. That was good. I learned.